in my best Clint Eastwood voice, you boys don't be going and putting up your rust repair tools anytime soon. You hear? around it was backed in we're gonna get this thing up on the lift for the very first time I've not seen the underside of this car since I bought it because if I had I might not have done what I've done so far which is starting the rust repair on the top side so I know I needed a suspension pan I know I needed some patches in the front floor pan and especially around the pedal area so you know I've got a pan I've got the suspension pan and the floor plan pan and a gas tank support. So now we get the car on the lift. We're going to see how far we've got to go. Get the suspension pan out and the new one in. Get the new tank in. Get the support in. Get the pan in. Get the motor in. And we'll take this car that was doomed for the crusher for a ride very soon. Yep, you know, we've already done some paint work on it. We've still got the paint to go, the body work to go, the interior to go, put the glass back in. Long way to go, but we saved this 911 from the crusher. Let's get this thing up in the air. This is the suspension pan. You can see how the battery exploded and came all the way down through here. And the only thing holding it together was the rubber membrane undercoating. So all of that is new right there. We've got to put it in. Gas tank's new, it's just sitting in there. But that's what the, the front suspension is bolted to on these things. You can see how that's a suspension. That's what it's bolted to, rubber. Hopefully they weren't trying to tie it up right there. But anyway, now we've got to uh, make sure it's secure on the lift. Go ahead and check a few more things out. It's solid all up through here. Solid all up in here. It's only the front half where the battery got to it. And this is the next section. These are the pedals. This is where the front windshield leaked and it came down and it settled in this area right here. Now I bought a pan, which is also right there, but I don't believe it includes all of this. So some of this area where it starts to curl up, we're gonna have to make. It seems to be pretty solid right there, but that's why we're here. There is an area right there that I knew about that I've already made a panel for. And then there's the panel right there where the back seat is. Other than those two spots, the rest of it is surprisingly solid. It's already painted for me. No, you guys remember us doing that. There's the uh, roll pan with the hot rod louvers. Yeah, it's solid on this side, but we're gonna go ahead and remove this jack, fill in all of that like we did on the other side. And we got some areas up here that we're gonna have to address. A little bit right there in the body, just a little hole. And then of course the front fender where it had a glob of dirt and debris where the front wheel kicked it back. And we're gonna make this piece and we're gonna fix this. We're not gonna buy a new front fender for $1,500 to two, $3,000. We're gonna, we're gonna do the right thing and make it ourselves. I know for those of you that call, that play the banjo, you call it picking and grinning. I'm picking, but I'm not grinning, guys. All I look at, I see a lot of work while I'm picking around. I'm trying to find out where the rust stops and I need to get this pedal assembly out. And this is actually the pedals for the pedal box, brake and clutch. It's only being held in by two bolts right now, 
because these two bolts are attached to rust. So give it a little bit of a PB power blast. Let it sit for a minute. We'll see if we can't get it broke loose. Some of you guys just don't, some of you guys just don't feel my pain. Some of you are probably like, what in the world is he doing that and wasting his time? Well, I want one of these cars so bad, but I'm not willing to go out there and spend a hundred grand on one and have buyer's remorse. Plus, doing that, I have no enjoyment of knowing what I have. I can't do it for one, I wouldn't do it. Doesn't make sense to me. All right, the pedals are out. Now it's officially a Flintstone car. Well, I didn't have to work hard to get these out. Just the, uh, the two studs that come through and hold the mass cylinder in. Uh, Mother Nature helped me out on the front bolts right here because sandwiched between these bolts is all the flaky rust of the old floor. So, holy cow. So there goes some of the floor. Now, uh, now I have another project. We can build these pedals, get those done, get those all pretty, painted, all new springs, new pads, have those completely ready to go back in when I get the floor repaired. So let's just keep digging. All right, so the pedals were hooked to the master cylinder, which is right there. Now I've got a new brake kit for this car. I've got a new master for it. I'm gonna have to order some brake lines because these brake lines, at least a couple of them, are kind of crusty and I don't wanna go through any problems. Go ahead and unplug the brake light switch. Now I'm not gonna do, uh, I'm not gonna undo these brake lines right now because the system is sealed and there's a car that's gonna be parked underneath here and I don't want that car messed up. All right, what's next, what's next? Yep, there's a big hole in the floor. But the reason that hole is there is because that's where the water set from the windshield leaking. They had fixed that problem instead of just putting some silicone and duct tape on it, then uh, chances are that would have been saved because the rest of the car is solid. Yeah, that's what they all say. So when you're out buying a project, it's always best to buy the best project you can find. Have a budget in mind. Don't go over your budget, but buy the best car you can find what you're looking for. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. This is the best car that I could afford to buy. I spent every bit of my budget on this car. Therefore, I did exactly what I'm telling you guys. Now, if you can, if you can afford a hundred grand, I would buy a car that's already done. If that's what you want. If you can spend 30 grand and you want to do some work yourself, find the best car you can for 30 grand. Chances are you'll be riding and driving while you're doing your work. That was what I was hoping for. I wanted to do most of this while I was driving the car. And I still may. This right here, I could not drive the car with pedals hanging out from underneath it. The front suspension pan that all the suspension is bolted to, I cannot drive this car with the suspension bolted to rubber undercoating in the front. It would be non-steerable, non non-stoppable. Parts like the master cylinder, if it worked, I could still be driving the car and fixed it when it quit working or fixed it on that Sunday afternoon when I was out in the shop working and didn't have anything else to do. Cleaning up the suspension, cleaning up underneath the car. I could do that after it was already running and driving. 
But these rust repairs, might as well go on and get them done. This week right here, this is where the hole is that I already knew that was in the floorboard. There was a seat track or something right there and it was holding water and it is rusty and weak. This is a very simple fix. It's a part that I can make and fix and knock it out real simple. But it may be in that section of floor right there. That section of floor may fall right here though. If it does, this little area right here isn't worth cutting this whole other area out. I can fix that, no problem. Re-undercoat the car, paint it blue, black, whatever I want, and go on down the road with it. This is gonna be fun right here, guys. Nothing that I didn't already know about. Yep, yep, lots of uh, used Porsche parts for sale. Anybody wanna buy any? All right, it looks like it's time to start making a few patterns. Let's get some parts made up. Let's get some parts cut out first. Then we'll make some stuff up. Now, this part right here, we're gonna have to take a road trip over to my buddy Jerry's shop. That's all he does is restore Porsches. Take a little field trip out there and make us a pattern for the footwell. I did not want to spend the $800 for this big panel that goes up in here when we can fix it for a dollar worth of material and making it with our tools. Let's sweep up some of these Porsche parts. <laughs> A lot of weight reduction going on tonight, guys. Digging, digging, and digging. I've gotten about 10 pounds of rust out of this thing. Looks like I've got some more work to do. Some of it's not so bad. Some of it's gonna require your help. Getting ready to drop this front suspension and start cutting this uh, suspension pan out and the tank support, putting that stuff back in. But I've uncovered quite a bit more rust in the fenders, in the upper fender where the fender mounts to the front of the body, down in the firewall area where the fender meets the firewall. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna make those parts. We're gonna repair it right and get this thing back on the road. We're saving it from the crusher and that's what counts. So as always, I'm keeping it short. Thanks for watching. I'm going to work a little bit longer. Drop this episode tonight so you'll see it tomorrow morning. And then I'll be back out here cranking on this thing some more in the next episode. Now you get out in the garage and go build something. Thanks for watching.